I'm gonna get you food right now. You being a big old baby. I think you're struggling. All the tilapias are out. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> look at him, look at him. Oliver fight. <laughs> Cali fight. Underwater wrestling. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Out Again and Ranch. Today you guys, we have Zach Catchamal and Joey behind the camera. And today what we are doing is we need Zach Catchamal and Joey Slam because we are gonna be taking out all the tilapia out of this aquaponics system. The reason why we're doing that is because Oliver's cage is so beautiful that we don't wanna have these containers here right now. It's just gonna be a, absolutely, it's just not gonna look pretty at all. That's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. It looks great. So we're gonna add all the tilapia inside of that pond and uh yeah he brought the pump zach brought the pump Got we're gonna it. get all these guys out and we're gonna make it happen so part six you guys fish <laughs> going inside of the otter pond Let's there's make it fish happen. wait 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 there's fish in all of those little containers yes there's a lot so we're not going to keep every single fish the fish that we're not going to keep they're going to get fed to big bertha our air primal that's inside the building but we'll show that in another video i know a lot of people have been asking for the fish videos <laughs> but you guys will see that later but right now we gotta get all those fish out of there before the sun goes down. So let's knock it out. Let's do it. Today's video is sponsored by Albert. So Albert has a bank account that it makes it super easy than your traditional banking. The traditional way of banking is such a hassle. For example, I had a question for someone and it took hours to actually be able to talk to someone. And the apps that they make me download are also really slow and confusing. But on the other hand, Albert is really, really easy to use and you guys can sign up for free. Albert helps you save money automatically. It's just like magic. Also, amazing thing is that you guys could get cash back at your favorite places. So we all know that we suck at managing money, just like me. So Albert has a team of financial experts that are called geniuses that help you plan and answer questions. So don't forget to click the link in the description box or go to albert.com slash Blake to download the Albert app today. So that's albert.com slash Blake for a limited time when you're opening up a checking account and connect a qualifying direct deposit, you'll get $150. By supporting Albert, you're also helping support the ranch. The water is going down. Yo, Zach, is it going? Yeah, we're good. All right, sounds good. So all the water is going over there into the grass, into the ground, disappearing into the dirt. And all my grass is gonna grow that much better for the capybaras to eat. It's a whole natural you know, system here on the ranch yeah, all the time. That water is definitely gonna fertilize because oh, it yeah. smells like, <laughs> yeah. A lot of tilapia poop. Tilapia booty, man. All right. It's gonna take a while. We might have our own little Everglades wetlands. I might have to film swamp people <laughs> in your backyard, bro. We can get Louie and put him there if you want. We can catch him. Oh, that'd be cute. Louie, I love Louie. <laughs> All right, so we're taking out all the highs and all that, and then all of the normal fish will go inside of the container, and those are gonna get sacrificed, and they're gonna get frozen so that they get fed to Big Bertha. Uh, everybody has to eat all their own ranch, and that's just how whoa, it works. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're moving a little fast, kiddo. Know? Look at the color on that thing. Yeah, we got absolutely insane color. Shout out to Joey Slam again, because he's the one that started me with the first pair of amazing tilapias here on the ranch. Dude, look at that thing. Look at how steep that is. Wow. So I'm thinking everything that size. Yeah, they can go ahead and get oh, the one. That is beautiful though. Yeah, they're And it will, it will also look like a red snapper as the otter slurps them down. Well, hopefully the otters don't eat us so that we can have some pretty fish in front of the viewing panel. But I'm not too sure. <laughs> look at this thing. Good scooping. Scoop them. Scoop them. They're all probably hiding in the corn. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll make that container. Oh, nice scoop. I've been scooping for a while. Oh my god, you got a lot. What are you doing, bro? You're good at this, huh? I've been scooping. That's why we got Zach Catchable. <laughs> Zach scooping. Oh my god, that's a freaking... That's the size of Oliver's deal. <laughs> that's a stud. Whoa! You I missed! <laughs> All right, so you don't want the ugly ones, right? No, we're gonna keep only the pretty Since ones. you're the one who got cut already, why don't you just continue to get cut? All right. <laughs> Adios. And we're gonna keep all the 
All the colored. Most of the colored ones. You can throw them in. We can throw them inside there. All right. Otter, otter keepers. So well, hopefully they survive. All the pretty ones. That. If you guys haven't seen part five, the otter enclosure is completely I've sealed seen part off. Part five. You saw part five? Yeah. All right. Well, now we're in part six. So part, on. We're, I'm we're in part six. I'm in part six. <laughs> <laughs> Tree of life right here. It came back to life after you chopped it up. Chopped it up. That's Come back sick. to life. So these guys are super hardy, guys. Don't think we're just having them out here. Obviously, Blake's gonna keep them as decorative sandwiches. Yep. So hopefully they survive. Oliver doesn't kill the fish, but Hallie, I've never introduced her with fish before. So Can she might just one? catch every single one and really eat it. But we'll see, we'll figure that out in maybe part seven. Uh, but right now, part six, we're letting this one go. Go ahead, buddy. Woo! Oh, Hopefully yeah. they have babies before the otters come so that the babies can survive and they can find all the crevices. The big ones might get sandwiches like <laughs> Zach said, but we'll see. It's a part that we wanted to try and this is the only chance we can, we can try, try yeah. this fish. That's a good idea. I mean, you have all the fish, they're super pretty. I could already see them at the bottom of the, of the tank with well, the Well, we have tons to pick from. So we'll put about a hundred in here. Sweet. What you doing in there, I, boy? I think, I think you're struggling. All the tilapias are out. Oh! oh yeah. <laughs> there we all Look are. Look at right the there. stash. Oh yeah. Color in the boat. Color in the boat. I'm about to have to give the container to you, dude. That is crazy oh. amount of tilapia. We might oh, sort through those one. a little bit. Throw some inside the aviary as well. Yeah, that's a big one. Look at that. Yeah, this is cool. This is the cool thing. Out. How fun! All right, here we are. So I tried to put some African cichlids in here. It didn't really work out too well. They went into Niagara Falls and died on the bottom. Niagara Falls! So, no! <laughs> no! Tough. So the tilapia have actually been surviving pretty well. And check them out. These colors in here are pretty epic. I mean, we have all out. Look at this thing. That is a beautiful fish. Into the ponds he goes. We got a ton of them in here. We're gonna add all these guys in here. So once we get for part seven, when we're showing you guys Oliver and Callie coming inside of here, which will be in about a week, then we are going to have that glass clear. Everything's going to look beautiful and they're going to be ready for their absolutely amazing home. Hopefully these fish survive so that they can breed and we have a ton of fish going in and out of Oliver and Callie's cage for them to swim with. <coughs> so uh, appreciate the help. Yeah, no problem, bro. Appreciate the help. No problem. Thank you again. Get them all. Stay tuned for <laughs> the next videos, you guys. And uh, like this video because the otter pond is just at 95% done. You guys, I can't wait to put Oliver and Callie inside of the pond. Stay tuned. I'll see you later. Oliver, come on. This is guys' his first time being outside in a very long time because of Cali. But he is going now to his new home. Cali, we were able to lock up last night, but not Oliver. But Oliver will follow me. I know he will. Good boy. It's been a little while, Oliver, since you've been out. But here we go. It's the big new world. You're fat now. You can't feel underneath the door. Come on, big guy. So Callie's a pain in the butt, and he doesn't listen when Callie's here. So when Callie's not here, she's inside the house, go follow. Come on, Oliver. Come on, big guy. Here we are. Come on. I got a freaking awesome pond for you. A real pond. Aquascape pond. Big, giant pond. Come on, buddy. He's remembering everything like before. He hasn't been out for probably, I would say... I don't know. Six months now. Yeah. Come on, Oliver. You gotta come this way. You gotta come through this door. Come on, Oliver. Good boy, Good boy Oliver. Oliver. Come on. Good boy, Oliver. Come on, Oliver. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Oliver. Come here. Check this place out, Oliver. Okay, Oliver. This is gonna be your new home. It is a massive, massive house. Check it out, Oliver. Here we are. So this is what we've been waiting for. Part six, waiting for Oliver to come inside his new home. Callie's gonna be coming in here in just a minute. She's still inside the house. She's a nut show. Oliver is very, very, very trained, more trained when he's by himself. He's like, oh, what's going on? We made the double doors already, all locked out, ready to go. Really, really neat. So let's have him follow around and see what he does. Smelling everything and figuring it all out. Look at that grass. Isn't that cool, huh? Come on. Come on, big guy. You got a lot of space to check it all out. Look, that's your pond. 
Look at that, Oliver. You got all sorts of different spots to check out. Check out your pond, Oliver. You're going to be able to swim and do all sorts of crazy stuff. Big old rocks to check out. I know you want to check me out with me. Look at that. Look at that little waterfall. See? First part he went to is the brand new waterfall. Like old times, Oliver. Just you and me. <laughs> so they're going to be very, very curious today checking everything out. Once we get Cali here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Check it out, Oliver. Big old pond for you, buddy. Go take a swim. Now that's a pond right there for you, Oliver. That is a pond. Go check out all the fishies and everything in there. Go, 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 go. There you go, buddy. It's a lot bigger than your 300-gallon uh, tank you had. He is. He's all the way on the bottom with his butt in the air. Yeah, he don't care. He's swimming. He's down there swimming. There he goes, exploring everywhere. Oh, you're going to have a freaking blast, bro. You are going to have a blast. You're going to have a blast. Go have fun, buddy. Oh, yeah, buddy. This is a real pond now. We're going to clean the viewing panel for you guys today. Nice and clean so that we'll get some nice underwater footage too for you guys in part six. Joey Slam's coming back now and he's going to be inside of here with us and we're going to clean it all up. Look at that. He has so much to explore. So what I'm thinking is, oh, look at him. Oh, he's going to have a blast. He is going ham down there. Look at him. There he goes. He is gone. All the way on the bottom. And back up. <laughs> Oliver. Oh, he's going to have so much fun. Going through the trees, going through the rocks, finding everything. This is as natural as we could get for him. And we still have more to do. We have to add toys. We have to add areas for him to climb in uh, the second level. We have to add ramps to his lockout. I mean, it is going to be off the chain. There you are, Oliver. And you can look out and... Ex look the yeah, now you can see all the animals, Oliver. They'll come up to you and you can see everything. Even though you're going to have your girlfriend, but you're going to have a blast. See how much he changes when she's not here? Yeah. He's good when she's not here. It's totally different when he's not the Oh, yeah, he is just chilling. So we, as you guys know, in part... Um, I don't even know what part it was. I think it was part three or four. We were concreting and doing all the rock work around the sides because as you guys can see, he puts his hands and he digs and he pushes all sorts of different things. So if we didn't concrete these rocks all around, he's going to flip all these rocks over and throw them all inside the pond and it wasn't going to be fun. What's wrong, Oliver? It's good boy. It's good boy. It's good boy. It's not fun, Oliver. We'll go get your girlfriend now. He's gonna freak out when we leave. I'll tell you that much. Brought him to the big waterfall part, the big water slide, or the rock small slide we have right there for him. He's gonna love this part over here with all the water splashing all around. So much water for him to play in. He doesn't know what to do. Flipping the rocks around, putting his face in the dirt. Look at that. You found some old clay from the rocks still. Look at your face. Oh yeah, buddy. Look at that, now you gotta see the big waterfall. Look at that one. Whoa there, buddy. You're gonna be lost in there. Playing in the little shallow pool spot. He's like, this is the best morning I've ever had in my life. Oh, 
Oh, but bro, what you think? What you think, bro? What you think? You epic or what? There he goes. <laughs> hey, <what? laughs> sure? <laughs> Say, I'm the real daddy. Go, go run in your puddle. All right, we'll go get Callie for you. I know you miss her already. Leave it alone. All right, so this is the double door thing that we were talking about. So when we're leaving the enclosure, we go inside there, close the door behind us so we can't run and run through that door because then it'll be a pain in the butt. And it'll always run out. So that's going to be our test right now and see what happens. The so dad's leaving. Dad's leaving. Dad's leaving. I'll be back, bro. I'll be back. I promise. I'll be back. Back in a few minutes. He's like, yo, what the heck? So we were able to bring Callie in. And here it goes. Come on, Callie. Welcome to your new home. Welcome, buddy. There you guys are. Check it out. Yep, that's that's your house, Oliver. Check it out. Show her off. Show her off. Tell her, show her your new home. I'm a... There you go, Oliver. There you go, Callie. We got a big old run right here. There's an ant pile right there. Come on, you guys. She's like, oh, this is a really, really big house. I can't see him. Where is he at? Look, he's hiding from her. He's hiding from her. Come catch me if you can. You actually make noise now. Yeah. He's she's scared. Yes, she is. Oliver's having a blast. So I have no idea what the situation was when I got her. I'd never seen the enclosure. I got Oliver since he was a little nugget. She was already six months old, so we don't know what kind of living quarter she was living really living in. She probably could have never even been outside before, but look at him. He's having a blast. He's playing with her, pulling her. He's like, let's go, bro. Come on, check it all out. And she's like, whoa, this is a lot to take in. Very nervous, very cautious. But Oliver was already here first, so he's like, yo, just follow me, girlfriend. I got this. This ain't nothing. This ain't nothing. He's just grabbing her by the neck, and he's like, come on, bro. Let's go. What you doing? Now, come on. This ain't nothing. This is playtime. This is real outside. That's what he's telling her. Go, Oliver. Go show her the bath time. She's like, yeah, this is scary. This is real scary. I hope you guys are enjoying this, making sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up because Oliver is having an absolute blast showing Tally off his and hers new enclosure and home check it out they're gonna be swimming in here by the end of the day having an absolute blast the water already got a little murky because like again no one's really been inside of here to touch and move and stir up the rocks they're gonna stir it up like crazy and just show it make it all murky and stuff and then it'll go back to normal again now they can see the sky they can see the birds they can see all sorts of different things inside of this enclosure for them. And they can chase. They get a lot of sun. Oh, now they have plenty of sun. Yeah. I mean, they were getting sun before, but now they got a full pond of sun. They have shade over there with the overhang. Callie's already drinking a little bit of water. Oliver, I'm gonna go swimming with you in a little bit, okay? I'm gonna go get this. All right. Go see where mine's going. 
Go get her. Go swim across if you can. I know you can. They got big flat rocks at all different parts just to sit there and sunbathe and chill and hang out. Callie's gonna go take a swim in a couple seconds. They're a little nervous still, but they'll be in there in no time. Where's mom going? Where's mom going? That's mom. Mom's going that way. So Oliver always comes for me for reinsurance, making sure everything's okay. And that's what he's doing because this is a whole entire new enclosure for him. So he just is like, wow, this is absolutely epic. But I think he's actually going to love it. Callie's going to start exploring more. First, Oliver will be on my side. Just checking me all out. This is a lot to soak in, huh, boys and girls? You guys better go swimming soon. Go ahead. You guys wanna go in the kiddie pool first? I'm gonna get you food right now. You being a big old baby. See, these guys are like back and forth. Some days he wants to bite your hand off and some days he wants to be loving like how he was when he was a little baby. Callie is never nice. She's over there already taking off. She's like, oh, let's go see what's going on. Oliver is just a big old lovebird. Look. <coughs> They're hanging on or sitting on the biggest rock here in their enclosure, the giant flat rock. Um, Maya, what do you think? You're happy they're outside? I'm happy they're outside. It's a little sad, but happy. A little sad, but happy. It's only a couple of feet away, but you know, this is what they're supposed to be in outside in a natural big enclosure. And this is exactly what we made for them. And it's uh, it's graduation time. Oliver's been inside the house now for almost a year and four months. Yeah, long time. Probably a year and four months. Callie's only been with us for about six months now. But uh, yeah, uh, this is the whole entire reason why we got Oliver was to make an absolute beautiful, massive enclosure for them. I mean, look at the size difference for these little, Oliver might be eight pounds. Callie might be seven pounds. I'll, I'll give I'll, I'll give Oliver nine pounds. He, he's a little chunky side. And Callie's probably around seven and a half pounds to this humongous enclosure, which is absolutely amazing. It is 22 feet wide with a distance of, I can tell you right now, I think it is 24, it's about 45 feet long. Not including their entire lockout that we have inside of here that they're gonna be going in there at night through those doors. We're gonna set all this up now in, uh, in another video for you guys, but it's gonna be really, really dope. So yeah, we're gonna clean that window out and hopefully we'll get some underwater swimming for them for you guys today because I know a lot of people wanna see that. So we're gonna give it a little pause, wait a few hours and get back to you guys in the evening and see what they have learned and what more they are doing than just the little puddles and staying on my shoes the whole time so i'll get back to you guys make sure you guys give me this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in a few hours so it's been a few hours now it's midday it's really hot outside the otters already came out of the pond but my dad has been in inside of the lockout area getting everything sealed on the top making sure it is all sealed so that they cannot get out in any way we have one section left right here on this side that we have to close but we have a massive door right here to go in and out if we need to clean and all that stuff um we are just about there the whole outside as you guys saw was sealed we're just getting that done we got to pick up all of our uh supplies and everything get that all out of here because we have to start prepping to get our sink inside of here we have to get our refrigerator and freezer inside of here all the food for the deer the otters the uh birds for the animal um uh, the aviary this is going to be the section 
for uh, prep feeding, food, everything inside of here. And I'm gonna put an AC unit probably right side in that area right there because it does get hot inside of here. So I'd rather have AC in here. The otters are used to AC as well being inside the house at night. So it's not gonna be cold, cold. It's gonna be you know 75 and up, uh, like 75 to like 78 degrees. Yo, Joe, you ready? Joey is back again, as you guys saw. He was here at the beginning of the video, and now he's back again. And what we're gonna do, he has the GoPro and stuff. We're gonna go jump inside of that water, uh, clean the glass a little bit, so that in the afternoon, in the evening, we'll see if we'll be able to see the otter swimming inside of their pond. So uh, let's get it. Joey's already inside the water. It's cozy, baby. It's oh, cozy. Yeah. It's cozy out and here. And Oliver and Callie are absolutely loving their new pond, you guys. Everybody that helped make this pond, I appreciate every single one of you all. Uh, there was over 170 people here to make this dream possible and they're having an absolute blast look at the otters go you guys they are having such a great time and we're falling in and here we go and check them out when they go inside the trees and everything it is so cool where'd they go look at them Bloop. look at oliver go you guys oliver's having a blast that's a good boy oliver Joey's down there cleaning the panel right now. Look at Callie over there, just chilling. So freaking cool, they're up and down, they're periscoping. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called when they pop up and they pop down, pop up and pop down. They're having an absolute blast, you guys. Look at this enclosure from them. They're gonna be in here so much. Oh, I was trying to do that. Oh, that's the coolest thing ever. So as you guys can see, this is clear, nice and clean. There's algae down here. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but there's algae down here. We have our homies right here chilling. Ow, he bit me, but it's okay. Don't play too rough. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Might go for my toes. But it's a lot of scrubbing, and this is common when it comes to the sun hitting water. It creates algae, which is good for the system. It provides a lot of oxygen, but it's well, tough. actually, if you guys can hear me, we're gonna be putting an overhang on that side. So it's gonna help the glare a little bit, but the water's <laughs> gonna be cooking over here, so it's not gonna be as good. Gonna check you that out. was so sick. That's one of the coolest things ever, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Amazing pond you guys got you got going on here. Ecosystem is out of this, out of control. Dead tree coming back to life out here. Look at that. Wow, that is so dope. And you just feel them swimming. Like, obviously, clarity isn't the best because we're kicking everything up with the rocks. But that's oh, that fish. we're doing it now, the future. Yeah, you're right. You're right, you're right. You're 100% right. This is, this is something, something out of this world. This is different. Look at the babies. <laughs> hey, buddy. How you doing, homie? Come on. Come back. There you go. Come here, come here. Oh, feisty. Feisty coming at my hands. <laughs> coming at me. Oh, pushing me to the okay, side. Steady. Yeah, I see that. They're getting fired up. Yeah. But it's look look how natural this is, guys. All the way through. It's about, I'd say, if I go all the way down, it's about four feet deep. The whole system is about 6,500 gallons. Okay. What's up? What's up, homies? They're chilling. Plenty of levels for them to go over here. They're bouncing off my legs and stuff right here, guys. Right here, chilling, swimming. And what's really cool is it's just constant. You see, there's like no water there. But it's the pump is so strong it drives gets the water from there and still pushing it around. And what's cool is if it overflows, there's no problem. Right, right, Blake? Yeah, it has a whole overflow system over there to hold a lot. Oh of man. Water. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing, guys. Look at that. Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's already chewing off the branches. There's gonna be no branches left. Look at him, look at him. Look Oliver him. fight! <laughs> Cali fight! Underwater wrestling. It's really cool to see your dream come true, bro. Look at him. <laughs> so that ends it right now for part six, you guys. Stay tuned for part seven because part seven, we're going to have a bunch of enrichment items we have to add for the enclosure. Thank you for Joey for helping me out inside of here. No problem, and thank bro. you everybody that has watched this video. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. I know we get hit 15,000 likes guaranteed, so let's make it happen. Stay tuned for the next videos, you guys. Oliver absolutely enjoys it. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, everyone. Hey.